morning. It's uh, June 20th, and we're going to get in here in these uh, potatoes we cut the tops off a week ago. Uh, these are baby Dutch, and we're going to go ahead and get these out of the box. I was going to leave them another week, but we're going to plant some tomatoes. I'm going to try to get a few more tomato plants in, and that'll finish off this year planting in this box. So we'll see if we can get these out of here today and see if we got anything in there. We planted these early in the spring, if you're following the channel. These were seed potatoes from last year, and they come up really nice, and the frost about killed every one of them and burned them back down to the ground. So then they had to restart. So we're not looking for a big yield. We still have some in the buckets right behind the, the boat here. Uh, but we're going to get these on out of here just, just so we can get these uh, tomato plants put in the ground. And if I had more room, I would not plant tomato plants right behind potato plants. But on our small city lot, you kind of got to make do with what you got. So here we go. You can see that nice layer of leaf mulch we put on top of there, compost. You see a couple of potatoes and usually I cut the tops on these guys and let them wait a couple of weeks but we're trying to get this done early so instead of storing a long time they may not store as long first one like I say after the frost coming about killed them completely and we're not expecting much out of these guys so if we get any <clears throat> at all we'll be happy a lot of little guys Looks about like that's about it for the first plant, and that's not doing too good. So they didn't grow long enough, and uh, they got wilted back pretty heavy with the frost, or cut back pretty heavy with the frost. So we'll just see. <laughs> A lot of little guys, <clears throat> but these are small potatoes anyway. When we bought them in the store originally, that's about as big as they were. So they're doubled in size of that and tripled in size of that. So, But last year we did a lot better harvest on these guys in our raised beds over here on the side. Oh, I see a cluster. And there's a seed potato. That's not bad there. Okay, here's number three. <clears throat> oh, compost off of there. Now it's still a little moist across the top. Sorry to get right in the way. I can't get over here because of my barbecue grill with the beets in it. It's too heavy to move. Oh well, that's not bad. 
three plants. Looks like the second plant was the biggest yielder. So we got uh, <clears throat> six more to go. So we might get a nice little mess out of here. With this raised bed box, it sure is easy to dig them. This light and airy soil. This is garden soil amended with uh, Pro Mix. And then topped off with our leaf compost. You can see. There's a nice little cluster. So we're pretty happy. They're like I say, they're not as big as they were last year. But when we bought them in the store, they weren't much bigger around than those. So that's good. Yeah, they grow these to be small potatoes you can put in your crock pot, so. We're, uh, we're okay with the size. Yeah, I thought we was going to lose these plants when the frost come in. They were up above ground and beautiful looking plants. And then we got a late frost and I covered them. I have glass panels. I covered them with glass panels. The frost blanket. And it didn't matter. It tore them up. They burnt all the way back down to the ground. And uh, I thought we was going to lose every bit of it. See potato. Yeah, I kind of lost interest on these guys after they died back to nothing. So I, they'd have probably done better had I taken better care of them. But like I say, the frost got them and I thought we was going to lose them anyway. So my attention went to other things around here. We kind of gave up on them and I was actually going to even pull them up. But then we seen some green growth come back several weeks later. So we decided to just leave them in here and see what we end up with. So it was nine plants.
That's a nice plant there. Best one of the bunch. Nice little roasting potato. Perfect size for your crock pot. We'll save our Yukon Golds to make mashed potatoes out of. That wasn't it off that. I guess it was. Well, there we go. Overall, not bad. I guess that's about the biggest. So, uh, when you consider these are a smaller potato anyway, about that size in the store, and you consider the fact that um, the frost burned them all the way back to nothing and basically killed them, uh, I'm, I'm okay with the yield we got here. I would have hoped for more, but don't we always hope for a better yield on our stuff? So there you go. Nine plants that the frost killed of uh, baby dutch potatoes uh there's our harvest one bacon sheet full can't complain won't do no good anyway and it's better than a sharp stick in the eye if uh, you like the channel give us a thumbs up and uh as always thanks for watching